So coming up, man, who was who was like some of the motherfuckers you was influenced by and shit? Um, Tyler. That's like probably number one. Like Tyler, Kendrick, um, Cole and shit. And then also like the <clears throat> all the people all of the people that were kinda on like the heavier uh rap side of SoundCloud in like twenty like fourteen to like sixteen. So Somebody like the Bones, Chris Travis mm. type shit. I was super team into that. Team session, all that shit. Team, yeah, super into that in middle school. Mm-hmm. Extremely into that. So it was like the way that my sound kind of came about was just like I was really into like these chord progressions and everything. But then I was also really into like how like just that this head banging like shit that they were dropping. And so my whole thing, my right. whole essence is just like putting them together. That's crazy, man. I, I remember I was... um. When Tyler and them first came out, I was um I was actually living with Tony Yayo at the time. Mm-hmm. And you know, just that whole, you know, G unit, all that shit. But I remember, man, they just didn't understand that shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I remember showing that shit to them. Like that's when Lil B was cracking off mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all that shit. I'm like, man, this that's is what lying. this is what this shit about to turn to. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Like I knew it. And I was showing them motherfuckers that and they was like, they just did not get that yeah. shit. But I mean they obviously they shouldn't get that shit. It's a lot mm-hmm. of Young shit that come up to me, and I'll be like, man, I just... You don't get that shit. I don't get that shit. But yeah. then it'd be like years later, when the motherfuckers are like, man, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. I see what it is. Like, some, some just a click. Yeah, and it clicks, yeah. Like, but when I first heard Earl, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Like, yeah, these motherfucking young niggas is coming. <laughs> to me, well, you know, we came up with, um, the title was Scaring the Hoes. We, we actually came up with from that last Earl album. Oh, for real? Yeah, because we was listening to that shit. And then Peggy, for some reason, he was like, man, he got tired of scaring the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just clicked in my head, like, oh, shit, that's the name of the album. Bro, it's so funny, too, that like I'm the only feature on there because, like, bro, it's like a it's a long-ass joke on Twitter over the past few years that I had to beat the scaring the hoes allegations, mm-hmm. like, with my music and shit. But so no, it's like, it's like it actually works, like, perfectly. I think, um, see, that's the one thing, too, I feel like uh, I really do like about you, too, is it don't really seem like, you let the um, cause that that's what could end up happening where you l- letting social media starting to a and your projects. Mm, Which yeah. I'm not saying don't take constructive criticism, cause mm. even I do. I read comments sometimes and certain shit, but mm. it's like if certain motherfucker, if you ain't study what I study to know what I'm getting influenced by and what mm. I'm pulling from it, so you couldn't even understand it anyway if you tried. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? 100%. So yeah. I would just say, just man, at the end of the day, make what you want to make, mm. you know, and everything else. Uh, cause I feel like that's keeping the purity in it. Once 100%. you start, once you start trying to. Which, which I remember, because I remember even Fifty was telling me some shit like that. Like, if you just want to make some shit to listen to in your basement, then mm. just make some shit to listen to in your basement. Yeah. But this shit is called the music business for a reason, uh. you know. So, but at the end of the day, man, it's like hip hop is just—it's so many lanes. It's like it's so grown so much just just from social media. Mm. Like me, I, I feel like because I if, if for a long time I was trying to make music that I thought people would like, but shit didn't take off of me until I was just making shit that I liked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I feel yeah. like it just make me, you can sleep better at night. You know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. Me not. Nah, yeah, me too. Like, I was, I I had went through trying to do a, a bunch of different, like, I don't know, like, I guess, like, musical identities or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I, I had, I don't know, I just tried a bunch of different stuff that I thought was going to work because, like, I thought it should. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, then I, and then I was just like, I kind of just gave up on that idea. I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and, like, really take this, like, more serious, like, really just, like, make what feels like. The best to me, I'm gonna call myself Ray Veil. Yeah, fine. and then so even so even now, so so who you listening to now? What you fucking with now? Now, um, um, uh, this kid Lilo. I think he's actually from Detroit. Really? Um, yeah. I don't know. You gotta put me on. I got you. Yeah, this kid Lilo. I'm 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 really into his music. Uh, Kenny Mason, a lot of Kenny Mason. Um, a lot of my homie Break Ins. Uh, a lot of Dochi. Uh, Mona Leo. That's what's up. It's all uh, over the place. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, Mike too. Yeah, Mike is the shit. Mike man. is. I yeah, got Mike nice. on a new album. Oh, Mike like, is like man. He's he's almost like poetry with that motherfucker. Like no, some of that is. shit, he don't even need beats. I could just listen to that motherfucker just just rap. You know it's what I'm saying? It's so intricate and like it's so beautiful. Like we we toured with him like uh, mm-hmm. last year with, with Freddie, and it's just like it's like you already hear the poetry, but yeah. especially seeing it live, like. You just feel it on a whole different spiritual level. Like, you just ascend. He does you so much with four bars. So much. Like, in four it's, bars, there's a lot of motherfucking 16s, man. And then, yeah, it, and then it's so, the sure. way he do it, so nonchalant. He just, it's like. Exactly. He, he don't got to overperform it because yeah. it's saying so much. Like, 
It's just like here. It's just like here. It's like if you, you know ain't paying saying? attention, you're going to miss that you're gonna shit. Miss it. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but, yeah. but then when you sit back and you just read the shit, you be like, oh, this motherfucker yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. Like, so. But yeah, shouts out, to, uh, shouts out to Mike, man. That whole navy blue, you know, that whole <laughs> shit, man, with Earl and Honor, man, uh-huh. that shit just... Beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful. man, to see the, the, the young motherfuckers think. Yeah.